Liberation Day uh, celebrations. Uh, what message do you have for Ugandans in that regard? But also, where do you see the NRM uh, steering this country moving forward? Well, heading to this special day of the NRM, my message first of all goes to the NRM uh, leadership. Um, I always protect the president because he does what he does best. And uh, he has brought us from so far to where we are. And then this message goes to everyone who works under the, the president. Please look into why people are disagreeing with the NRM. Some of the people who work with the president are a bit selfish. Some of the people who work with the NRM intentionally do things to make the NRM unstable and disliked. I think it is time we should learn how to love our country more than we love ourselves, more than the ego that we have for our ideas, our ideologies, our, our targets. We should put our country first before anything. In that way we will understand how to value time, use it perfectly, explain to the young people, give them what they deserve, handle offices, uh, work away with corruption, um, 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 and, and the likes. So for me as, as Bebe Kool, as a, as a concerned citizen, I think uh, that there's, a, there's, there's a blame on the people in the NRM. Let's look at it. Let's find out why and let's work on that. Otherwise, I believe we still have our President Museveni as the better option for presidency than all the options that are being given to us. But we better clean up where, where mistakes are. And then for the rest of the people in the country, let's love our country, let's be more objective. Let's not look at the coin one side. Let's not only talk about the bad things. Let's also sell Uganda positively because we have good things. When uh, we get money from tourism, it comes into the, the industry. Yes, there's corruption, but we can curb the corruption. As we've been fighting other things, we'll fight corruption. But it doesn't mean that we stop uh, tourists and then we fight corruption. So how will you fight corruption without money? So let's love our country as Ugandans. Let's not always talk politics. Let's talk Uganda, not politics. Because every time we talk politics, it cuts us into pieces. Let's talk Uganda. Let's learn to discuss Uganda more than we discuss politics.